If you are watching this video, you probably want to become a food blogger or you're at least looking into becoming one and that makes me so happy. My name is Karina. I'm a passionate food blogger from Austria. I've been a full-time food blogger for over three years now. It's my absolute dream job and I love the work and I'm so happy that today I get to share some of my top tips with you on how to become a food blogger yourself. We'll jump into various different tips and tricks that I have for you. It won't get too technical I'll just tell you what you need in order to start your own food blog and then I'll have a bonus tip at the end so make sure you watch this video until the end so let's get started with tip number one so what fuels you with passion that is the first question you have to ask yourself you want to become a food blogger that's amazing but what kind of food blogger there's so many different niches you can choose and it's really important to pick a niche that you actually love and care for for example I'm a fitness food blogger and there has not been one single day in the past three years where I would not have known what to cook because I'm just full with like inspiration for new recipes because I have such a passion and interest in the fitness food topic so it's really important that you find something that really sparks your interest as well do you want to become a baking blogger do you cook low carb or vegan recipes pick a niche that you actually really like and that you won't have troubles coming up with new recipes on the go because you will consistently need to create content and if it's always a struggle to come up with new recipes just because you picked a trendy niche like smoothie bowls or nice cream bowls and after a while you get so bored of shooting just that one recipe that that's definitely not the way you should go so pick a niche you actually really care for and that you have never run out of ideas for that setting you up for success that's my tip number two so before you start a food blog you obviously need a blog or an Instagram definitely pick your channel you can become a blogger on various channels you can become a video blogger on on YouTube you can become an Instagram food blogger and just have your food Instagram or you have an actual blog a website so you'll need to set up those channels I for example have my blog on WordPress you you will need a domain name so you need to register that and then get your own website, your own theme. It's a little um, yeah, difficult in the beginning if you do everything yourself with WordPress, but it's definitely worth it. And having your own blog is definitely something I can recommend. If you just wanna start out, I just started with an Instagram. For the first year, I just had my Instagram, so that's basically the, the um, easiest thing to get started as a food blogger. Open an Instagram account and then pick a name that really resonates with you, that's easy to remember. Um, make sure that's, that's an important um, tip to have a name that is catchy, that's worth remembering and that's not too complicated. Um, yeah, once you have set up your channels, you can actually start creating content and that brings me to tip number three. In order to start shooting content, you obviously need the right equipment. I actually have a full video on the basic food blogging equipment you need in order to start out as a food blogger. I will link it, um, so somewhere something is gonna pop up, um, you can click on that and watch that video in full detail. But I'm just gonna mention the most important things you need. Obviously you need a camera. If you're just start starting out, you can shoot with your phone, but I always um, recommend a DSLR camera. I'm shooting with a Nikon actually. I love this camera, it's perfect also for beginners. And then um, the most basic thing is also a reflector. You will need that um, in order to reflect the light onto your picture to get rid of um, the shadows. And then, yeah, you just need um, a couple of basic dishes and plates and napkins and everything to make the, the picture look pretty. But the most basic thing is a good camera and that actually really makes a difference um, because the pictures you take with a DSLR camera are just much more crisp and sharp and that just makes a lot of your professionalism in the photos. You can see if um, like a hobby person took that photo or an actual yeah, photographer with a camera. So getting a good, investing in a good camera is definitely a good idea. Moving on to my next tip, um, if you're starting out as a food blogger, you want to become a food blogger, it's important to learn a little bit about food styling. For me, in my experience, um, it's really important how you present the dishes. You can make the most boring looking chaya potting look amazing with the right uh, food decoration. So really invest in food styling props. 
What do I mean by that? Get a couple of different glasses of little forks, of sprinkles, of tiny cookie cutters, um, of yeah, just like ropes or uh, uh, kitchen towels, just different styles that you can put around um, your dishes because the more details, the more layers of interest you add to your photo, the more interesting it's gonna look like. So having a couple of different props to choose from will make your pictures always look different and more interesting. So definitely have a look. Um, also on my blog, I have a blog post on the art of food styling that you can look into. I'm gonna link it in the description box. It's very helpful to just know a couple of tiny tricks, um, food decoration tricks like how to make an avocado rose or how to cut a mango because those little tiny details can actually make a huge difference, uh, difference in your pictures. Last but not least, my bonus tips. I wanted to um, share with you guys some really useful tools that I use as a food blogger. So for example, I use Canva to create my Pinterest graphics or to create my story swipe ups um, in my Insta story. You can register for free on Canva and you can make the most amazing layouts on it. Um, like I said, it's for free. So really make use of it. I love it. I will put a link for a camera in the description box. It's awesome. Then Unum. I use Unum to schedule my posts. I plan all of my gallery on Instagram ahead. And Unum um, just makes it possible to switch around postings and you can actually color code your feed. If you have a look at my Instagram feed, you will see I always have a main focus color that I will um, focus all the postings around it. And with Onom it just makes it so much easier to plan around that color and to switch postings around and to see what your future feed is gonna look like. So definitely have a look at that. Regarding editing pictures, I use Lightroom, I love it. There's just so much you can uh, bring out and like the colors you can bring out in a photo. So edit your pictures, that's definitely a must as a food blogger. It will make them look so much more professional and like I said, you, a boring picture can be made into like a super incredible photo just with bringing out the colors in Lightroom. So that's a definitely must for you. Then if you want to spice up your stories, I can recommend Unfold or Hype Type. You can add music, you can add different layouts. And if you're shooting a recipe, for example, and you want to share it on your Insta stories, that's a very practical tool to not have a million snaps after each other, but to merge them into different uh, layouts on one single snap so hype type and unfold is definitely also a huge recommendation I have for you if you're already a little bit advanced I can recommend mailer light that's um, the tool I use in order to build my email list you can have different email lists and then email all your subscribers you can build email funnels and you can send out weekly or monthly newsletters and updates from your blog you can promote your own blog post so um, I'm also gonna link to that and also, if you want to look further into becoming a food blogger, I actually have a full-fledged food blogging online course that's going to teach you everything on how to become a food blogger. So if that's something that interests you, definitely check that out. I put it, I'm going to put it in the description box. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any further questions, you can always reach out to me um, via all my social channels. I'm always answering every single message or you just type your question in the comment box and I'll answer it. And yeah, check out my other content on food blogging. I have a lot of helpful videos on how to become a food blogger and how to monetize your food blog. And I'll definitely see you in another video. Bye.